I work as AFTV, I've got Curtis Shaw with me. Yo. Curtis, man, we both played the game and it starts to, it's starting to seem that these boys, when they go out there, they didn't, especially today, they didn't seem up for it. They gave no, didn't seem like no fight, they didn't really cause Bernie a problem. Mm. What's going wrong, Curtis? I think you've got to ask questions of the manager. Mm. You know, they, they revealed a story this week that they're offering him a two-year two year? contract. Yeah. Two-year contract for what? For eighth place? Out of both cups before the end of January. First time in 30 years. He's breaking records that you don't want to break. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not being funny. Like, we, we could still be on the pitch now. We wouldn't have scored. Putting high crosses in for Tarkovsky and them, and they head the ball all day long. Yeah, 13 corners. Bro, I, I'm, I'm, watching, I'm watching the game begging for a 1-0 against Burnley. Yeah. That's, that's where they got me desperate. Yeah, they got me desperate right now. I can't lie. And, and, that, and that says something about the manager. Yeah. The reality is we got rid of Wenger because we said he ain't getting top four no more. Get him out. Emery came fifth. They said get him out. Arteta finishes eighth twice. They said two-year contract. How does that make sense? Yeah, he seems to be being backed. You saw in the window, he got mm -hmm. £150 million to spend. Like, yeah. He seems like he's going to be staying around. I've heard the rumours about him getting a two-year contract, but mm. we need to see some sort of pro progression or at least top four. Is that even possible this season after what you've seen? I mean, we're three weeks into January. We haven't signed one player. Mm. Desperate for a striker. Mm. Desperate. Desperate for a midfielder. I felt sorry for Sambi. You know, Sambi looked like a kid at times. Didn't want the ball. He's still, he's very young. He's, he's a kid, he, yeah. He is young, but why are they being put in that situation? Do you know what I mean? Where, where's the goals going to come from? Mm. Now, I have to ask a certain question. Not everyone's going to agree. Go on. Well, when you've got a 300 grand striker sitting at home mm. and you haven't replaced him, you might have to use him. Mm. You might have to. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Do you say, would you, would you say, put him on the, because I, I'm hearing this talk about bringing Aubameyang back. We've got to use our full squad, but are you saying he should be integrated on the bench? You should, you're, not, you're not telling me he should be starting right now. No, what I'm saying, listen, we, we've been talking about, we've been talking about Vlajevic all month. Yeah. We ain't getting Vlajevic. Yeah, let that one go. Yeah, he, he, if he comes here, he's only coming here for money. He don't want to come to Arsenal. <laughs> so what I'm saying, if you're going to let Aubameyang go, that's cool. You've got to replace him. Right now, I can't see no replacement. If the window closes, who do you want coming on the pitch with 10 minutes to go? Eddie and Ketty or Aubameyang? I know everyone's answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when Eddie and Ketty came on, I just gave up. Yeah, it's not happening. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to use what you've got. How is it we got better players outside of the club than the ones that are here? Gwen Doos is in the French squad. He walks in that midfield. Aubameyang would be better to come on. Saliba gets in that team as well. So it's all right saying, oh, this man. Some t the most important thing in management is man management. Handle the people you're working with. Every player that's got a little bit of, maybe a little chip on their shoulder or something, mm. this manager clashes with Yeah, because the youngsters rave about Arteta. Yeah, and they, they love they back him, because yeah. they're easy to control, innit? I get a young player, oh, Arteta signed me, so I'm going to run through brick walls for him. Mm. Where's it getting us? Mm. We were talking about top four a few weeks ago, start of January. What's Edu done this month? Where are the signs? There is still time. Is it? Does it change anything? Bruv, we're, 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 we haven't won a game in January. We said Happy New Year and then we haven't won one game. Knocked out of both cups. If he'd have had man holding up the shirt, January 2nd, 3rd, 4th, we'd have gone to Nottingham Forest, handled that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? We'd have had a chance against Liverpool. Mm. When we lost to Liverpool the other day, you could see we didn't have the same levels of quality as them. We've turned up against Burnley today. I've only been to three games this season. I came today for a little pick me up. I thought, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I saw you before and you were like, yeah, we're going to. I said to you, Burnley, yeah, yeah. 3 0, 3 0. Nil nil against Burnley, bruv. They've won one game all season. They're getting relegated. Aaron Lennon, he's been a player for about 20 years. Do you know what I'm saying? All we're doing all game, Saka Martinelli, them man just running all game, just burning them man out. Nothing through the middle. We're like a bagel, bruv. No middle. Nothing. I don't know what's going on, but I'm telling you now, the standards of this football club are on the floor. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and the thing what irritates me is part of the fan base just accept it. Whatever they feed us, we accept it. Training kits all the time. Bring out our training kit on the day we lose to Liverpool. Mm. Do you know what I mean? What's going on? 21 days into January, no signings. These men are acting like they didn't know AFCON was happening. We all knew AFCON yeah. was happening, so why didn't you sign yeah. players first week of the month? Mm. Lacazette, he's leaving at the end of the season, free transfer. Eddie and mm -hmm. Arteta's begging Eddie and to sign a new contract. And he's actually saying no. And he's not good enough. 
He's there, not good enough. There's definitely a lot of questions. We saw Maitland Nas as well go on loan. We yeah, could have been used go. as well. There's, yeah. there's a lot of questions around Arteta right now, and I understand that. But yeah, um, so I'm going to ask you again. So what is the, what's the solution? Is there a solution? Does, does the signings change this season for us? Does bringing in a midfielder and a striker change mm. this? Or do you think, no, this is, this is it. We've got to kind of accept maybe falling out of the top four this season. Uh, listen, if they buy the right midfielder and the right striker, but I don't trust them to do that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because why haven't they done it already? Mm. If you buy a panic buy at the end of January, it could be too late. You've seen how this month's gone already. We're, we're out the top four, we're out of both the cups, we're not in Europe. Yeah. Is a player going to come in and just take to it straight away and rip the place up? It's hard when you come from abroad especially. So yeah. Edu Arteta, for me, are not doing their jobs properly. And I think until the fans demand more from this football club, they're going to carry on feeding us this rubbish.